Hey hi. After a long time I see you guys. After in the my in the middle of life I see a lot of problems due to my personal reasons for that reason I am not able to put my lot of videos. So now I see a number of persons put a uh, various amount of comments uh, how we are going to do the atmospheric correction using the flash model using the quark model for the Hyperion imagery, how we are going to do that uh, pre-processing stuff. Once again, you may put uh, the uh, radiometric calibration, atmospheric correction for the Hyperion imagery. And you are asking the hourglass analysis also. Okay. So, uh, sorry for the delay. Hereafter, I will try to put every video as soon as possible. Okay. So, in my first video, I already put uh, how to open the raw imagery and uh, how to do that, uh, how to identify the bad band removals. Uh, by, uh, how to get the calibration bands like uh, in the total uh, 242 bands in the hyper imagery when we do that atmosphere before doing the atmospheric correction we are doing the radiometry uh, calibration also we need to do before that well, we need to identify the what's the calibration band first in the calibration band out of 242 bands only 163 bands uh, coming in the very good condition so in this 163 bands we are going to take and using the bad band removal step we already uh, accepted uh, uh, we already said in that video and we are doing that was that uh, we are uh, we already do that was that uh, uh, sorry uh, i already do that uh, bad band removal steps and uh, ah de-stripping so de-stripping i already do do that in the nv classic but uh, de-stripping option is not available in the NV advanced version. So try to put that particular step uh, that uh, distributing process only in the NV class. You have no any other option. So here open the subset bad band removal after distributing image. Okay. So in this thing we already do that Hyperion imagery and we already do that bad band removal thing and this is the band numbers and this is the band wavelength in the nanometer 426 the nanometer okay every band width is coming in the 10 meter nano intervals also so here we need to open this imagery in the low true color load it man ah uh, yeah so i just uh, take a small area is a Trenavil district. It's available in the southern part of Tamil Nadu in India. So this is a lat long questions. Here you can able to see that lat uh, lat long questions also display in the bottom. Okay, and this is the double JS eighty four with Mercator projection system. So here hereafter, I first do the radiometric calibration first okay so radiometric calibration why it is necessary mean we need to do any kind of atmospheric correction step means definitely you need the radiometric calibration that's a primary step okay so in this part you can able to see that radiometric radiometric correction file for the radiometric calibration it is there just click it and you may select the subset file and give ok if you want to uh, minimize the area means share this in that space subset your area is little bit less means you may select that area also you may directly select otherwise you have the ROI field means you may give via ROI also it is not a problem ok so I just uh, taken for the total area and I just give ok and I will just give apply flash settings. We are giving that apply flash settings means I am going to do the atmospheric correction using the flash model only. I need to give the apply flash setting. Otherwise, that's not necessary. When we give the apply flash setting, mean it will come uh, coming the scale factor as 0 0.1. If you need uh, to know to know why means the small calculation part will be there. To obtain the units in this kind of format only, we need to give this flash uh, correction scale factor as 0 0.1. Okay. So for the thing only, we are just uh, giving that uh, scale factor as 0 0.1. Nothing beyond that. 
and uh, just give that output file name anywhere just I give it some name as a sample okay and just give okay so it will take uh, some time consuming depends on your file size okay if you are taking a small area means it will get run within 15 minutes otherwise it will give it will take a, a whole day also depends on your file size only. okay so here the uh, sample that uh, atmosphere ready made cal calibrated file also coming there okay but uh, you can able to see the visualization there is no any other variation will be not uh, actually variation will be not there so how you can able to identify the various means just uh, taken the your spectral profile in the spectral signature plot you can able to see that this is the uh, this is the uh, radiometric calibrated file output and at the same time this is your raw imagery so compared to this raw imagery and uh, radiometric calibrated file output you can able to see that uh, the dn values will be the data value will be changed here the data value is the dn digital number and here it is coming around 0 to 12 this is the radiance value so in this part only the variation will be there normally visualize well you can't able to see any other variation okay so this is the radiometric calibrator output so in this radiometric calibrator output it has three formats one is the bsq second one is the bal third one is the bap BSQ is a band sequence here, BAP is the band interleaved by line, BAL is the band interleaved by, sorry, BAL is the band interleaved by line, and BAP is the band interleaved by pixel. So, flash, every time flash accept only two format, BAL and BAP only, not BSQ, okay. So, remember that, and uh, this video is useful that, please, uh, take this video and uh, in my next video i will do how to do the atmospheric correction using the uh, using the flash atmospheric correction model and you need uh, a lot of atmos various atmospheric correction uh, flat field uh, a log residual iarr and uh, quark atmospheric correction also in that i'm ready to put that videos also it depends on your wish only okay